Hi, I'm Ronnie, and in this video, I'm going to attempt to make a boiler to produce steam to drive this oscillating engine that will be mounted on a strandbeest. In the previous video, I made this oscillating or pneumatic engine, and so far it's only been driven by compressed air. For the project to end up being a steampunk project, you need to have the punk aspect and the steam aspect. Today I will address the steam aspect and for this engine to be driven by steam I need to make a boiler. And I'm going to try to make a boiler to produce steam using this coffee pot. This is a espresso coffee pot and I really hope that by disassembling this pot completely I will not upset a whole nation. But I found this coffee pot uh, I actually found two of these coffee pots in a thrift store and I'm going to treat them with respect and try to make them into something better where they still will be used. In addition to making a boiler, I also need to create some source of energy and I'm probably going to use alcohol or kerosene to provide the heat to boil the water to create the steam. I'm making two of these steampunk machines and at the end of the video series I will give one away. For each video in this series, I will give away one of these Strandbeest kits, but more information on how to get it at the end of the video. The first step, of course, in this video is to convert these coffee pots into pressure vessels to create steam. So let me start with that and see how it goes. I made two of these adapters and I think they turned out reasonably well and they fit on the top part of the coffee pot with a small o-ring and they just screw in and there are some notches here to tighten them so I have a small spanner that I can use so on the small end the tube is four millimeters in diameter and the rubber tube of course fits over it and that's it. So this screw onto the bottom of the pot. Now the bottom part of the pot have these safety valves and I check them. They don't seal enough to make any pressure and I need pressure. So I am going to use a small screw and a nut with an o-ring and just plug this hole. And I would have loved this to have a safety valve but uh, the safety valves do not work. I am not too worried about an explosion of the pot for several reasons. First of all, these are just press fitted on and they can probably pop off. The tube is also rubber and I think the rubber will explode or rupture way before a metal pot explodes. So that's another reason why I'm not too worried. But the most important reason why I'm not worried is because of the engine itself. Steam leaks out through here. This is why I have the rubber band here. So the engine is just uh, held in place with, with a rubber band. So there's a seam that opens up very easily. And I do not think there's going to be ever so much steam pressure built up held by this rubber band to make the pot explode. So this is just a proof of concept. Uh, and uh, I just have this really ugly stand to keep the boiler on top of the flame. I also have a small test alcohol burner and yeah let's see if 
if it works. Okay, and there it goes. So this engine is now completely powered by steam. For the fire source, I thought of using this small tin. It's a tin for cat food. And I think this tin would be quite nice. And for that, I need a lid. But uh, since this is going to be fire, I can't use a wooden lid. So I'm going to try to use this piece of brass. But then I also, of course, need support for the coffee pot that's a bit higher. And um, I'm going to try to make the lid and support only one go. So I've made all the pieces for the firebox and the boiler and I have two of all the metal parts. I will start with assembling everything. And this is this is really awesome. I really like this. I might replace my coffee pot and also something like this. So from the side, looks like this. And I think the flame is the correct height to boil the water. So the boiler is complete and it's working really well. I'm happy with how much steam it generates and the power that it generates for the steam engine itself. And it was basically just three parts. So the first part is of course the pot and the pot has a few small bits. The best part of this project so far is this handle. It's so cute and I like it really a lot. Uh, it's probably my favorite part of this project so far i think it is really really cool and the pot is converted from a mocha pot and the top part i changed to be a spout i removed the pot section from it and i added the small adapter from aluminium and since everything sealed already uh, i didn't need to do much to get this working 
The second bit is the small tin of cat food that I used and I made a lid with a wick and this is of course the alcohol burner. I used alcohol because it burns cleaner than kerosene and I'm really happy with the amount of energy that I can generate using this burner. The last part of course is the stand and the bottom part of the stand is made from wood. I will try to keep the flame above the wood for this whole project as far as possible and then the top part is made from metal. With that I can mention that this is not something that you should try at home. Don't make pressure vessels to make steam at home. It is not recommended. Uh, it can explode and even if, it, if you make sure it doesn't explode, steam is really really hot and dangerous. If you're really interested in using steam engines or trying to get into steam engines, I can recommend a commercial steam engine. There are several companies that sell them and my wife bought me one a few years ago for my birthday and I will place a link in the description below if you're interested in having one of your own. The next part of the project is of course really exciting. This is where I will try to add everything to a base with gears and mechanisms to control the legs. I will try to add the legs next episode as well. I'm not sure if I can get that far, but at least everything will, try, will start to come together into one machine. So I'm really looking forward to doing this and seeing how it works out. I've made two of everything. Uh, there's two stands of course as well. And I am going to give away one of these mechanical machines at the end of the series. So if you're interested in having a steam driven strand beast or a steam beast, subscribe and see how this progress until I give it away. I think everyone should have a strand beast at home. So if you still want one, uh, I am giving away a kit with each of these videos. So leave a comment and subscribe and I will contact the person with the most upvoted comments and ship the strand beast out to you wherever in the world you are. Thanks to my patrons, uh, your support is really, really appreciated. It helps me make some of these things, so I really appreciate that. And if you're still watching, please consider subscribing. This will help me to make more of this content. And uh, leave a like for engagement or a comment, and this will help me to grow the channel a bit so I can make more of these things. And all that I can say now is uh, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode. Cheers! Thank <laughs> you.